What's up guys? Welcome back to the 10th inning and welcome back to an all new week of returns. I have five big returns that came in this week. Excited to go through those with you guys. But um, as a quick reminder, you can get any of these autographs I got, I pulled from two websites, sportscardforum.com and sportscollectors.net. So if you want to look up some autograph addresses, you can find them all there. I've got a video up on my channel that will teach you how to do that step by step. So check that out. But let's get to the returns here. Return number one coming up. And here we go. Return number one. Got this back on the 29th. As a reminder, guys, stick around to the end. We will recap at the very end and go over all the cards from this week. First return is a quarterback, former San Diego Chargers quarterback, John Freeze, with a two-card return. Very cool. You get these loaded up here. All right, let's start with this 1993 Fleer game day. Man, sign this really neatly here in uh, blue sharply. I shouldn't say neatly. <laughs> Mess, a little messy, but uh, include the number 17 on there. Very cool. Check out the back. Learn a little bit about John. John Freeze. Sat out the 92 season after suffering a knee injury in the preseason game. Started all 16 and 91. And... Um, there we go. Let's check out his collector's choice card. I think this is 94. Yeah, 94 collector's choice. Sign this very nicely as well. Very cool. So it looks like he did uh, bounce back in 93. Six touchdowns, four interceptions. Not sure what came of him. I uh, wasn't the biggest Chargers fan back in the day, but... Um, I wanted to get as many of these Fleer game day cards signed as possible, and he was on my list. So that's a two of two to kick us off this week. Let's get to our second return of the week. Here we go. Got this one back on the 1st of March from Tampa, Florida. And who do we have? We've got Billy Coach. Billy Coach. Billy Koch. Former big league pitcher with a two of two return. Very nice. Let's start with this Topps Chrome rookie card. We've got uh, three guys on here, A.J. Burnett, John Nicholson. I'm not sure that these other guys sign. John Nicholson might, but I don't think I've seen A.J. Burnett on the list of signers yet, but maybe he'll come around. So I got him to sign that one. And then I've got his Bowman Chrome rookie card. And there we go. Signed in blue Sharpie there. This turned out amazing. And you can see, it looks like maybe his autograph has changed over time. He used to sign it Will. Now it's Billy. So there we have it. And he uh, spent a long time in the big leagues. I, I think pri primarily... Uh, was a closer and um, did pretty well for himself. So that's a great return. A couple of nice Blue Jay cards there for the collection. So nice, another two of two. We're two of two on two of two of our returns so far. So let's get to return number three. Here we go. All right, our third return. Got this one back on the second from Indianapolis, Indiana. We've got former NBA player Scott May with a 101 return. Here we go. Looks like some of the autographs smeared a little bit on the card saver too. But that's all right. Just got a little moisture in there. It still turned out very nice. Um, I actually come across this card at uh, my local LCS. It's a 1977-78 Tops. And I, I had recognized the name. I'm a Bulls fan, so I know who Scott May is. And I thought, what the heck? I should send this one off and get it autographed. So there we go. A 101 from former Chicago Bulls, Scott May. You can see a little bit about him. This was his uh, second year in the NBA. Was a member of the NBA's all-rookie team, his rookie season. And was a... Uh, 
number one draft pick by the Chicago Bulls out of uh, Indiana University. So won a gold medal, gold medal, a gold medal with the uh, U.S. Olympic teams in Montreal in 76. So there we go. 101 from Scott May, the former Bull, former Hoosier. Let's keep it rolling. Return number four. And our fourth return got this back on the second. It is from Sacramento, California. And what do we have here? We've got a 101 from Steve Sachs. Very nice. Had him sign this 1984 Dodgers card. And he sent something else, which we'll go through here in a second. But yeah, this turned out very nice. This one was from my collection. I've had this card for a long time. You can see it's a little beat up here. But um, yeah, the former Yankee, former Sox, former Dodger. I believe he played for at least a, another team in there. Uh, good middle infielder. Solid player in the big leagues. He does charge a fee. I want to say it was $5 a card. Um, but that'll be up top as usual. And then we have this insert for Sacks in the Morning podcast. Sacks in the Morning Sports, Money, and Life. Follow him on there if you want to check that out. So there we go. Steve Sacks with a 101 return. We've got our fifth and final return coming up. Let's get to it. All right, our fifth return. Got this one back on the second. We are getting it from Carroll Stream, Illinois. I will say this one feels a bit heavier than the last ones have, so I think we've got more than one card in here. And who do we have? Don Beebe with a multi-card return. Let's see how many we sent. I believe I sent him three or four cards. Three cards. So let's start with this Pro Set Rookie card from 1990. Signed here in black Sharpie. There we have it. 19, I'm sorry, 1989 Pro Set Rookie card. My fault. And... You can see born in Aurora, so he has not left the area, even though he played in Buffalo most of his career. Looks like he's moved back to the area, judging by the postmark. Here's 1989 score. Signed again nicely here in black Sharpie. Very cool. These turned out great. And then last but not least, 1993 Tops. Also with the Buffalo Bills. And you can see a fan favorite with blazing speed. BB recorded a team high four 100 yard receiving games in 92 and grabbed a career long 65 yard touchdown pass against the Colts. And there we have it to end our five return day. A three of three from the former Buffalo Bill, Don Beebe. All right, let's get to the recap. All right, guys, I want to thank you for hitting play on this video and being a part of my channel. I'm looking forward to getting all the feedback on this week's returns. Um, again, we had five awesome signers, so thank you to all five of these gentlemen that signed and returned the cards back. Um, I think I got every single card back I sent from them, too, so perfect returns. Um, got them all back pretty timely, too. I don't think I had a single one of these that was like a real long return, to be honest, so most of them got back very quickly. Um, so let's give the rundown, and then we'll close this thing up. So I decided to go with the 1993 game day for John Freeze. I went with the uh, Bowman Chrome rookie card for Billy Koch. Uh, I just had the 101 from Scott May, the 101 for Steve Sachs. And then I went with the 89 score rookie card for Don Beebe. And that is all five of our returns. We'll be back next week, guys, with all new returns. Can't wait to go through those with you right here on the channel. 
So uh, subscribe, leave me a comment. I'll definitely reply to you. If you have any questions, let me know. If you're interested in sending off your own through the mail autographs, you can do that by visiting sportscardforum.com or sportscollectors.net. And I've got a video up on my channel that will show you how to do it step by step. So check that out. And if you have any questions, just reach out to me. But thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you on the next one.